Playing in Denmark see, uh, 12 seasons in, made Champions League four straight years. Congrats. Knocked out by Barca in the first knockout round this year via two pens. Anyway, my best players keep wanting release clauses of around 10 million pounds, so I keep losing them. How can I win the Champions League like this? You need to keep getting into that Champions League knockout stage, right? If you continue to get there, and I realize, I realize you're sitting there like, well, I keep asking for these freaking release clauses and it's preposterous. Like, I don't want to do these release clauses. Your reputation should be high enough after making it to like two Champions League knockout stages that you don't have to worry about at least release clauses anymore unless you're dealing with somebody that is truly like transcendent. That That is the general thought process. Now you are always going to lose people, but something that the, the first thing you have to overcome is your board selling players. The second thing you have to overcome is the mandated release clauses. The way you get over mandated release clauses is having a higher and higher reputation. You need to have excellent coaches. You need to have excellent facilities. You need to have great team cohesion and locker room atmosphere so that when players want to leave, you can say, hey, what about this? That is what you need to do. And there, there's no like super easy fix to everybody wants release clauses and I'm getting screwed. But what I can tell you is that your reputation will be good enough if you keep getting Champions League knockout stages. It will be good enough because that's 16 best teams in the world. They're all state of the art and we are rich. Cool. Then you, the board is obviously not going to sell anybody. Every part of your club is state of the art. It's just, you know, yeah, they lock it when they go into the contract, but it's not every player. There's always going to be that guy. You remember Kevin Barrientos from Oriental Dragon? If you don't, he was always that guy. We kept him for years, but he was always that guy. Wanted the biggest contract on the team, wanted an insanely low release clause. It is all dependent on their ambition and their agent's ambition.